This is Mary Beth Rahali of Braid Secrets, where I teach riders how to transform their main braids from mediocre to magnificent for successful hunt seat and dressage shows. In this video, I'm sharing five secrets for French braiding the forelock so that you can create winning braids on your horse. Now you want to start with a bridle path that's about an inch wide, just enough for your halter or a bridle. And then you need to comb the forelock out and make sure it's wet so that it braids nice and neat. You want to take your clippy tool and you want to section off a piece of hair right in front of the bridle path. In this piece we're going to divide into three pieces to start our braid. So divide it into three equal pieces and then you just want to cross the outside section over and pull tight. Keep your thumb on top, that holds the tension. Cross the outside section over and pull tight. After you've done one crossover from each side, you want to cross hair over and then start adding in hair from the same side you just crossed over. So pull and pull it tight. So I'm going to cross over again and I'm going to add hair in from that side and then just continue braiding. So cross hair over, add hair in from the same side and pull it tight. So you want to add in your hair right across from where your thumb is. Don't grab hair that's way down low here. It needs to be hair that comes from right across from where your thumb is. That's just a tip because it ends up, um, if you have a lot of sections added in to the braid, it's a little fancier looking, and, but you want them to come straight across from where you are in the braid when you're adding them in. So cross over, add hair in from that same location, from that same side, directly across from your thumb. Okay, and this and the hair, the section underneath you use to keep the tension tight and keep your thumb on top. That also helps right here to keep the tension. So I've crossed over and then I'm adding hair in directly across from where my thumb is. Like I said, the more sections that you add in, the fancier it looks in the end. So you want to cross over, add in that section of hair right across from your thumb. And then you use this one part of one section of hair to pull the braid tight, this one that's underneath. Cross over, add hair in. If your horse doesn't stand well for this, you might want to have a friend hold them. It's hard to do if they're a moving target. You want to keep the braid centered. That's one of the reasons I have my thumb on top. Keep the braid centered down the, the forelock. And then I'm almost to the bottom of the scalp here where I'm going to run out of hair to add in. And you just, when that happens, you just continue to braid. Okay. This is about probably the last section there I'm adding in. And then keep the braid nice and tight by pulling up on that outside section. Each time you cross hair over, you pull up a little. As, long, as soon as I'm at least, oh, an inch and a half or two inches below where the scalp ends, I'm going to add a 20-inch piece of yarn that I've folded in half, and I'm placing the fold under my thumb. And then I'm just going to continue to braid. And the yarn, you want to match your horse's mane be the same color I'm using black for this demonstration but and then once you've braided the yarn in you don't want to make sure that this portion of the braid isn't longer than the section you have to tuck it in so I'm going to end this now he has some long wispy hairs some horse, horses have really long forelocks so you can't braid all the way down to the bottom or you'll have this giant braid sticking out the front 
So you can only make it as long as the space you, as you have here and tuck the rest up in. So to tie the braid off, you lay the yarn over the braid, yarn pieces. I put my th fingers through the loop I've created behind the braid and grab the yarn and pull it back through. You don't have to tie any other knots here. And then I'm going to use my forelock tool, which is a long tool that I've created. I have a DIY tutorial of how you can make your own with things you have around the home. And this is long enough to go all the way down through the forelock and catch these yarn pieces. And that's why it's better for this task than your latch hook, which is the shank of the latch hook is only about this long. So what happens is people stick their latch hook down and they get it caught and then they can't, they still can't grab their yarn pieces. So make yourself a forelock tool. It will come in handy. And you want to stick it down through the center of the braid you can see it comes out the bottom so that I can insert the yarn pieces in there. You want to make your loop big enough that it's easy to do that. You can even tuck your hair pieces through there if you like, pull them up through if they're really long. You can go back down and grab them a second time. Okay, and you want to hold the braid at the bottom and just pull those yarn pieces up through the top. And then you want to have just a little turn of the braid here in the front. Okay, and to finish off your forelock, you want to bring your forelock tool through the side of the braid. And you want to catch one of the yarn pieces in it. So I'm just going to push one in there. Then you just want to tie two single knots on top. So go through once and go through a second time. So then you'll have your yarn pieces that you just need to trim. And you're all set. So the more sections you add in, the little bit fancier the forelock looks. So take your time and um, you can master the forelock braid. It looks beautiful when your horse is bridled. So by way of review, here's what you learned today about braiding the forelock. One, place your thumb on top of the braid so that it holds the tension tight for you. Two, add hair into the braid directly across from your thumb so that your braid has the neatest appearance. Three, add more small sections of hair into the braid for the fanciest results. 4. Only braid down beyond the scalp as long as the space you have to tuck the braid up into. And 5. Use a forelock tool to pull your braid up so that you don't get the latch hook stuck in the forelock. I have a video in my free resource library on how to make your own forelock tool in just a few minutes using things that you have around the house. You can get instant access to my free library of main braiding videos and resources by clicking on the link below. If you found this video helpful, like it, share it with your friends, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.